All right, coming back to our project now. All right, now I'm going to take my V tool like this, and I'm going to go into these ears. See what I'm doing? See my hand? See my hand behind here? My hand is behind here to keep me from putting too much pressure and breaking it because this is very thin But I'm doing that for a reason. Then I can take my knife and kind of cut that excess off right here. See that? And I'm up here. But I have my little, I have my finger or my hand behind here to keep from see that. I come back behind here once again got my hands behind there and kind of bring them very lightly with the end of my my knife and I kind of bring that forward just a little bit Same thing here. I'm going to widen them just a little bit. By widen them, I mean take a little bit off this area and kind of give them much more of a, a wide look to them, in other words. And then I'm going to go back with my V-tool and take out a little bit more. Take off a little bit at a time, folks. Too many people try to take off way too much wood at one time. And if you got a little V-tool later, just kind of... <sighs> there. See that? Take you a little. I'm going to take my V tool right here and come a little bit more in there. You gradually do it. You don't try to do it all in one thing. You take small cuts. This tail's got to come out just a little bit more. You can also do this with V-tools. I'm trying to do it with a knife to show you. I'm going to take my V-tool because it's easier to get in there with a V-tool. Sort of cut that out right in there. 
same thing in here it's just a little bit easier to get there with a v-tool because it, it's it's got a better reach okay now we have our little hoofs here which we're going to draw and go across kind of comes up and goes down comes up and goes across and this is where your hoof is on them so you want to take your knife you just want to barely there we go just barely take that out right in there there you go see that just very easy take a little wood off there and the same thing here just little v-cuts is all they are just taking a little wood off Where you have the kind of the little, uh, then you can kind of work inside these areas. I like to use the knife and the V tool as a complement for it. So you take your V tool, kind of work that out in there, then take your knife. cut the excess also in these places here just sort of scrape as you go along I used to know a guy that would carve. He wouldn't carve, he would scrape. He just keeps scraping, drove me nuts. He, <laughs> I, lo I loved him to death, but he would just, he wouldn't really cut the wood, he would, he would scrape it. Scrape the wood. I never could do that. All right, we're, getting, we're, we're looking good here. Now, on the eyes, We're just going to kind of bring this back in here, make a little cut in there for the eyelids on each side. Okay. Let me clean this up a little bit in here. We've just about got our piece finished. The main things, in other words, are, are kind of carved. Flatten this out just a little bit. Okay, uh, in the, I'm gonna take my V tool and in the snout here, I'm just going to do a little, give him a little nostrils right in there. My little V2. So like that.
a little bit deeper in here just for character okay okay this I'm coming to the end of this one now the reason it, it seems like a simple project but the reason it takes so long is because you have to get into some really tight places in here so you want to be careful Okay, let me, uh, I'm going to wet it, and we're just, we're just basically finished with our piece. Do a few more little things, but it's looking good, it really is. Okay.